our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home and two shall become one flesh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you soft. <laughs> she said it. As much as everybody think I'm the quiet one, y'all know Brandon the chatty one. I knew it was real when he started calling me about Marissa because I was getting real short messages like, yo, bruh, yo, she, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, you sound like me, what's going on? He like, nah, bruh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I need to go to the jewelry store and, and get something with significant carriage. So I was like, all right, do what you need to do, I got you. Brandon, from our very first conversation on Hinge, I knew you were something special. It was as if we had known each other from a past lifetime, and we were meant to find each other again during a global pandemic. Today, you become my husband, and from this lifetime and forward, my heart is entirely yours. As we continue to grow in our lives together, I promise to give you all of my words when needed and to share in the silence when they are not. To pick you up if you are down, to love you unconditionally, to care for you and our families as long as we live. You make me laugh, you make me think, and above all, you make me happy. Brandon, you are my everything, and this is my promise to you. I love you most. Marissa, your mom and I are not losing a daughter, but we are gaining a son. Marissa, you'll always be daddy's girl, or as we finally mentioned each other in text as boo and pops may god continue to bless and guide you both as you remember this day and the love of this room for the rest of your lives cheers You. you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you look nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are the woman I pray for as a young man. 
you're the woman at times. <sighs> I wasn't sure I'd ever find. <laughs> you're the woman that God designed just for me. I could go on and on about why I love you. And I know you'd kill me if I did. <laughs> because you know I could talk for a real, real, real long time. I love the way you not only support me, but believe in me. It was a little over a year ago, we'd been dating for a few months, when I was presented with a greater career opportunity that would send me to New York. I told you I'd only apply if you would be okay moving across country with me. I told you that building a life with you meant more than any job. I also said that while we weren't yet engaged, you would have a ring on your finger by the end of 2021. Without flinching, you said, boy, you better apply to that job. <laughs> This, this is just such a blessing to be able to see my second born find someone that was truly God sent to him. Marissa, you're the daughter that I've been waiting, second daughter I've been waiting on. The first one came when Cedric married Anthea. So now I had two sons and two daughters. Thank you everybody for coming out to celebrate with us today. Thank you. You found someone to add to your greatness, your resilience, kind and thoughtful disposition. It's been quite the whirlwind, but love is like that. It's meant to sweep you off your feet and carry you into forever. And I'm beyond happy to witness this forever union. By the authority committed unto me according to the ordinance of God, the law of the state of New Jersey, and as a minister of the gospel, I declare that Brandon Lowe and Marissa Hacker are now husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it, Brother Brandon. Brother Brandon, you may salute your bride.